हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज हर्स एंड यू आर वाचिंग डब्ल्यू पी वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट मार्कअप एक्सटेंशन व्हाट इज मार्कअप एक्सटेंशन एंड हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट कस्टम मार्कअप एक्सटेंशन व्हाट इज द मार्कअप एक्सटेंशन मार्कअप एक्सटेंशन आर एज एम एल टेक्निक फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग ए वैल्यू दैट आर नॉट ए प्रिमिटिव और ए स्पेसिफिक जेम एल टाइप फॉर एक्टिविटी यूज इज मार्कअप एक्सटेंशन यूज इज ए करेक्टर सिक्वेंस ऑफ ओपनिंग कर लिब्रेसिस to enter the markup extension scope and a closing curly braces to exit when using .net jml services you can use some of predefined jml language markup extensions from the system.jml assembly several markup extension are implemented by .net jml service for jml language support these markup extension correspond to parts of specification of jml as a language these are typically identifiable by x colon prefix in syntax the most markup extension used in wpf programming are those that support resources references such as static resource and dynamic resource and those that support data binding what are the sum of the predefined jml language markup extension x colon types what it will do x colon type markup extension supply the type object for a named type wpf styles and templates and their usage of target type property are a specific example of this what is x static markup extension okay static produce static value from value type code entities that are not directly the type of property value but can be evaluated to that type okay now let's know what is the null markup extension this specify null as a value for jml member what is array markup extension array support creation of general arrays in jml syntax means we can create the array in jml what is reference markup extension reference represents a reference to the another existing object in an object graph these are the some predefined markup extension we can use in our wpf application now let's create our own markup extension before we create custom markup extension let's see this example here i want to show the calculation of 10 plus 20 means i want to show it as 13 ui but if we do like this it will show only 10 plus 20 not the actual result so in this case we may think of the converter but it is not like a converting things right it is the calculation kind of things for this we can make use of markup extension we can create the custom markup extension so let's create a folder in this folder i will add one class give the name as calculate markup and let's inherit from markup extension add the name as space make it public okay now override the abstract method provide value this method we are going to write the logic to calculate the value let's create a constructor parameterize constructor with the parameter expression create one private variable of type string and we can assign this private variable to this parameter okay from this parameter here i will use data table to calculate the expression so i will create the data table object here let's add the name space and we can use the compute method compute method will evaluate the expression and return the result so here i will pass expression and i will just pass empty string okay and i will convert it to to string because the text block will take it as string before running the application we have to add the name space to the ui and we have to make use of that markup extension So add the name space here and use text as markup extension. Cal calculator markup and 
10 plus 20. Now let's run and see the result. You can see here the value of this expression will be displayed in the UI, which is in text block text. You can see 30 here, right? Let's see the result of minus. Let's replace plus with minus and run the application. It should display minus 10. You can see here it is displaying minus 10. Perfect. Now I will show other way of creating the markup extension. Let's remove this parameter from the constructor. Also remove this line. Make it public. Delete capital X. Make use of this property in the view. Assign this property here. Now let's add getter and setter to the X P. Let's run the application and see the result. It should display the actual result. What we got earlier. You can see here it is showing minus 10. It should be minus 10, right? It's working fine. I will show you another way of doing this same thing. Here I will create multiple property for first value, second value, and for the operator okay so i have the value as x here for first value y as second value and op as the operator okay so let's modify the provide value implementation i will assign the expression i will make the expression using the x y and of value Let's initialize x in the UI. x equal to 10, y equal to 20, comma, and op equal to plus or minus or whatever we want. We want now plus. So we initialize op to plus. Now create the expression. So let's create the expression using the variable x, y, op. Get and create the expression. String dot concat x. OP, y. Let's run and see the result. You can see you will get the actual result. Means 10 plus 20 equal to 30. I hope you got the idea how to create the custom extension and how to use the markup extension in the UI.